something right now. I was praying for this tour. And if you follow me, you've come to any other night of worship or tour or something like that. I can't do a night like this and not take a moment and pause and just say, God, I've seen you heal before. I know you can do it again. I don't always understand it, but I know it's who you are. If you haven't changed, if you're the same yesterday, today, and forever, then you're still a healer. And I want to dare to believe the entire Bible. My Bible says to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. My Bible says the miracle signs and wonders follow those who believe. And there's at least a few believers in this room. So I expect miracles to take place. Back there grabbing some water and uh, and catching my breath and and uh, and uh, a good friend of mine just said, "Dude, it hit me. What we're doing on these nights, it's yes, it's singing the truth, and yes, it, it, it sounds like like grace and mercy and and love and all of these things." But he's like, "Dude, there's something about these nights that feels like war." And we're all going to take a, a quick moment because there ain't nothing special and, and, a, and a, there's no magical prayer for breakthrough. It, it's a name. It's a person. And that's Jesus. And so we don't have to do much to expect a, a, a breakthrough. But I don't know if you've had anybody who's ever warred for you. But we want to war for you tonight. And we want to take a, a quick moment. And Leland's is, it is, Leland is going to sing this song just for a, 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 another minute or two. But I want to, if you need a, a breakthrough, if you need a touch from God, would you just raise your hand? And I want every single person that doesn't have their hand up, find somebody with their hand up. I'm talking infertility. I'm talking chronic fatigue. I'm talking, um, I felt like I saw college students that your brother or your sister, someone in your family is far from God. And you're believing that they're going to come home. There's some kind of prodigal story there. We want to intercede for that person right now. I'm talking uh, blood disease, uh, anything, arthritis, your big toe hurt. We want to go after it right now. We're going to expect that all pain is going to leave this room. I want to make God sweat tonight. I want to believe that God can do anything, and he's going to do everything. So I want you to keep your hand up. If you've got someone around you with their hand up, you don't have yours up. Would you just put your hand up? 